Marcus, Mark 11. And when they came nigh to Yerushalayim unto Beit Pag and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, he sent forth two of his Talmudim, and said unto them, Go your way into the village over against you, and as soon as ye be entered into it, ye shall find a colt tied, whereon never sat, rather, whereon never man sat, loose him and bring him. And if any man say unto you, What do ye this? Say ye that Adonai has need of him, and straightway he will send him hither. And they went their way and found the colt tied by the door without in a place where two ways met, and they loose him. And certain of them that stood there said unto them, What do ye? loosing the colt. And they said unto them, even as Yahusha had commanded, and they let them go. And they brought the colt to Yahusha, and cast their garments upon him, and he sat upon him. And many spread their garments in the way, and others cut down branches off the trees, and strawed them in the way. And they that went before, and they that followed, cried, saying, Husha na. Blessed is he that comes in the name of Yahuwah. Blessed be the kingdom of our father, David, that comes in the name of Yahweh, Husha Na, in the highest. And Yahusha entered into Yerushalayim. And into the temple. And when he had looked round about upon all things. And now the evening was come. He went out unto Bethany with the twelve. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree far off having leaves, he came. If haply he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. For the time of figs was not yet. And Yahusha answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of you hereafter, forever. And his Talmudim heard it. And they come to Yerushalayim, and Yahusha went into the temple, and began to cast out them that sold and bought in the temple, and overthrew the tables of the money changers, and the seats of them that sold doves. and would not suffer that any man should carry any vessel through the temple. And he taught, saying unto them, Is it not written, My house shall be called, of all nations, the house of prayer? But ye have made it a den of thieves. And the scribes and chief priests heard it, and sought how they might destroy him. For they feared him, because all the people were astonished at his doctrine. And when evening was come, he went out of the city. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Kepha, calling to remembrance, said unto him, Rabbi, behold, the fig tree which you cursed is withered away. And Yahusha answering said unto them, Have belief in Yahweh, for I mean I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, 
but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. And when ye stand praying, forgive eth if ye have aught against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your transgressions. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your transgressions. And they come again to Yerushalayim, and as he was talking in the temple, there came to him the chief priests and the scribes and the elders and say unto him, By what authority do you these things? And who gave you this authority to do these things? And Yahusha answered and said unto them, I will also ask of you one question and answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. The immersion of Yahuchanan, was it from heaven or of men? Answer me. And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he will say, Why then did ye not believe him? But if we shall say of men, they feared the people. For all men counted Yehuchanan, that he was a prophet indeed. And they answered and said unto Yahusha, We cannot tell. And Yahusha answering said unto them, Neither do I tell you by what authority I do these things. 